Hello, folks. Well, many of my friends asked me how it was that that fellow Rich could fly this Alaskan Airlines Dash 8Q400 out of SeaTac Airport. Well, I really don't know. What I do know is that when I used to work on Phantoms in the Marine Corps, I used to send the newbies to the flight shack and tell them to get the keys to number 18. <laughs> of course, there were none, and they always came back embarrassed. But maybe should have keys after this guy's episode. I know this is not Seattle, but you might get the idea what it's like inside a Dash 8 Q400 and what it must be like to fly it and see what it looks like. Here we go. Yeah, it burned quite a bit faster than I expected. 
There is the uh, the runway just off your right side in about a mile. Do you see that? That's the uh, that's the uh, that's McCord uh, Field. Oh man, those guys would rough me up if I uh, tried landing there. I think I I think I might mess something up there too. I wouldn't want to do that. Uh, hopefully, oh, they probably got anti-aircraft. No, they don't have any of that stuff. Uh, we, we're just trying to find a place for you to land safely. Yeah, not quite ready to bring it down just yet, but holy smokes, I gotta, I gotta stop looking at the fuel because it's going down quick. Okay, Rich, uh, if you could, if, could you start a left-hand turn and uh, we'll, we'll take you down to the uh, southeast, please. This is probably uh, like jail time for life, huh? I, I, mean, I would hope it is for a guy like me. Well, Rich, we're not, we're not going to worry or think about that, but could you start a left-hand turn, please? And uh, he's going to try and help you out here a little bit, okay? And I think you might have some questions. Rich, if, uh, I've got a pilot on with us, and uh, if you got any questions, you can ask him now. Hey, uh, well, first off, you're a little, a little breaking up a bit. Um, maybe I'm too far away. What's the distance on his frequency? Okay. I don't need that much help. I've played some video games before. Uh, I would like to figure out how to get this cabin altitude. Like, I know where the box is. I would like to get some, uh, make, it, make it pressurized or something so I'm not so lightheaded. Chris, what's your altitude? Yeah, I don't know anything. Uh, I don't know anything about the autopilot. I'm just kind of hand flying right now. Okay, you know how fast you're going? Yeah. I think I lost your mind in the middle a little bit. I'm coming back up. That's that's me little by ear. Damn it, Andrew! People's lives are at stake here! Now, Rich, don't, don't say stuff like that. Nah, I told you, I'm not, I don't want to hear your one. I just want you to whisper sweet nothing in my ear. Would that be better than uh, trying to land it? Like, I know how to put the landing gear down. Put your, uh, your power... That probably 50%. That would be the two top gauges right in the center on that glass uh, display there. And then press, uh, well, tell me, uh, do your power 50% or tell me what you got. Yeah, I got it like quite idle. Well, that's too slow. Bring it up to like 50. There's side on the bottom that says HDG and I've got a little blue uh, M on it. You can crank that around, and, uh, and uh, you know, I'll tell you what, let's just do this. Um, push, you see the HDD, HDG button uh, right by that little thumb wheel? No, you can do that with these things. Uh, so, what would, if you were to do it, how would you do it? So, I'd try to figure out how to use the autopilot first. concentrate so much on flying airplane. Hey, you think about landing this successfully, uh, last will give me a job as a pilot? Uh, you know, I think they would give you a job of doing anything if you could pull this off. Yeah, right. No, nah, I'm a white guy. Eh? Talking to that aircraft at this time. Uh, if they need your assistance, I will, I will let you know that they're talking to that aircraft right now. Roger. Yeah, you do your man. Thank you. Hey, FA guy, Andrew, you on? Yeah, I'm still here, Rich. Bad, but kind of not either. Sir, uh, if you want it to land, probably the best bet is that uh, runway just ahead and to your left. Again, that's the McCord Field. Um, if you wanted to try, that might be the best way to set up and see if you can land there. Or just like the uh, pilot suggests, another option would be over Puget Sound into the water. Dang, uh, did you talk to McCord yet? Because I don't think I'd be happy with you telling me I could land like that because I could mess some stuff up. Well, Rich, I already talked to him, and uh, just like me, what we want to see is do not get hurt or anybody else get hurt. So like I said, if you want to try to land, that's probably the best place to go. Hey, I want the coordinates of that orca with the, you know, the mama orca with the baby. I want to go see that guy. Behind you, there is another aircraft. Would you be willing to talk to them if they're on the frequency and maybe they can help you land? 
back and get some water. Hey, what's the what's that import right there behind me? Like to my left. Okay, Rich, well first of all, we we just need you to keep flying the aircraft. And so if you could just stay there and keep flying the aircraft. The air, the uh the airport you just passed over on your left, that's the uh Tacoma Narrows airport. I mean that's also an option if you want to try going there. But uh like I said earlier, McCord, that's a, that's a bigger runway if you wanted to try to land there. Hey, Rich, this is Captain Bill here. We're still uh, listening and my airplane's doing uh, just fine. How's yours? Like I said, it, it would be a better option, I think, if you tried to land it or even land it on the water. Yeah. Hey, is that pilot on? I want to know uh, what this weather's going to be like in the Olympics. Well, uh, if you can see the Olympics, the weather's good. I can see the Olympics from my window, and it looks pretty good over there. All right, because I, I hit some, uh, felt like turbulence around right here, but there's no clouds hardly. Oh, uh, that's just the uh, the wind blowing over all the bumpy surfaces there. Oh, uh, copy that. Yeah, but Rich, if you could, uh, maybe start a left-hand turn, start turning back around, because if you get too close to the Olympics, uh, you won't be able to hear us anymore. Turn back around here. Like I said, I just want to keep talking to you, and if you keep going towards the Olympic Mountains, we we'll, won't be able to hear each other. i got a lot of people that care about me, and uh, it's going to disappoint them to, to hear that I did this. Um, I would like to apologize to each and every one of them. Um, just a broken guy. Got a few screws loose, I guess. Never really knew it until now. Um, just, you know. I'm going to uh, come in here and start talking to Rich as well. Man, have you been to the Olympics? These guys are gorgeous. Holy smokes. Yeah, I have been out there. It's, it's, it's always a nice drive. But... Yeah, yeah I, I bet you do. I haven't done much hiking over there. And uh, But if you could, if you could start a left turn and uh, turn back towards the east. I know you're getting a good view there, but uh, if you go too much further in that direction, I won't be able to hear you anymore. Guy, can this thing do a, uh, a backflip, you think? I'm going to land it. Um, like, uh, in a safe, safe kind of manner. I think I'm, uh, I think I'm going to try to do a barrel roll. And if that goes good, I'm just going to nose down and call it a night. Well, Rich, before you do that, uh, let's think about this. Um, just kind of lightheaded is the uh, man, and you know the sights went by so fast too. I was thinking like I'm gonna have this moment of serenity, you know, be able to take off in all the sights. Uh, There's a lot of pretty stuff, but uh, I think they're prettier in a different context. The right hand side uh, above you on the right hand side air conditioning panel. You'll see it. It's a big panel. There's three switches along the top of it. Make sure all three of those switches are in the down position, facing the nose of the airplane. I don't know where I've been at this whole time. Okay, Rich, thank you. 2,500 to be exact. Okay, thank you. And do you have an idea of how much fuel you have left? Uh, man, not enough. Not enough to get by. Uh, like uh, 760, 760 pounds. I'm just gonna do this barrel roll real quick. Uh, well, no need to do that. If you could just start a turn to the right, and then I'll tell you when to stop turning, and then you can keep it level from there. I feel like I need to be, what do you think, like 5,000 feet at least to be able to pull this barrel roll off? You get hurt either. Uh, if you could, I see you're still turning to the right. You want to maybe start making a turn back to the left a little bit? You'd be an arrow if you could pull off a landing. All right, Rich, this is Captain Bill. Congratulations, you uh, did that. Now let's uh, let's try to land that airplane safely and not hurt anybody on the ground. All right. Uh, damn it, I don't know, man, I don't know. 
I don't want it. I was kind of hoping that was going to be it, you know? After long, I feel like one of my engines is going out or something. Okay, Rich, uh, if you could, you just want to keep that plane right over the water, maybe keep the aircraft nice and low. Condolences to Rich's family. It's uh, It just goes to show that you can do all the crazy maneuvers you want in the air, but if you can't land, it doesn't mean anything. Waste of a life and an airplane.